Here's your wrestling news for April 16th, 2023. And we're starting off with WWE, who will host night one of its draft on the April 28th SmackDown, which will conclude during the May 1st episode of Monday Night Raw. Triple H has promised that this year's draft will be the biggest ever and will change the game, but if that's the case, WWE aren't telling the roster about these game-changing plans. Superstars who spoke to Fightful Select said that as of this week's SmackDown, they haven't been told post-draft plans or where they'll be after the May 1st Raw. This isn't too much of a surprise, as in the past, WWE hasn't informed superstars of where they're going post-draft, as it allows them to capture an organic reaction on TV. Typically, only the very top names in the company will be told where they are headed, and even then, there have been instances of main event guys still being kept in the dark. This will be the first draft of Triple H's era of head of creative, so there's a lot riding on the decisions that will be made. But we, and much of the roster, will just have to wait until the draft to know more. WWE's draft picks will be made by the creative team to build towards future storylines, but shouldn't the fans also have a say? On Smack Talk, Dutch Mantel suggested that at least one pick should be made by the fans, arguing that it would make the show more engaging like popular talent shows. WWE would be making a bold step by giving fans a morsel of power over the draft, and do you agree with Mantel? Sound off in the comments. We've got news from Drew McIntyre now as the clock is ticking on his contract with WWE. McIntyre was pulled from last week's SmackDown due to an injury, one that he's been dealing with since prior to WrestleMania, but the Scottish Warrior was also a no-show during this week's episode. According to PW Insider, McIntyre did multiple local interviews this week to promote SmackDown in Lincoln, Nebraska, which certainly implies that at one point, he was scheduled to be on the card. The Pinnacle Bank Arena also had a promotional image for this week's television taping with McIntyre on it, another sign he was scheduled but later pulled from the broadcast. McIntyre caused a stir this week when he blacked out his Twitter page and removed all references to being employed by WWE, though his contract with the company will not expire until later this year. While some have speculated that McIntyre is merely building intrigue to himself, the fact remains that his contract is coming to an end and the situation with the former WWE Champion remains a mystery. From the moment Vince McMahon returned to WWE in January, there were fears that he would try to usurp power from his son-in-law Triple H and return to being head of creative. While that didn't happen at first, those fears cropped up again following the woeful post-WrestleMania Raw, which saw McMahon make several last-minute changes to the show. After the WWE Endeavor deal was announced, a company-wide notice said that Triple H would remain the company's chief content officer, and that position reportedly hasn't changed. Speaking to Light Shed Live, Nick Khan was asked for clarification about the situation with McMahon's creative involvement and said that Triple H is still the man running creative. Khan added that McMahon himself will not be seeking input on creative decisions, but added that McMahon's experience and expertise as a creative mind in wrestling is very valuable. Triple H and his father-in-law have a long-standing working relationship, and Khan stated that there is always the option for the game to seek input from Vince, and for Vince to offer his own suggestions. Khan also praised McMahon for creating a company structure that allowed WWE to continue functioning even during his five months absence in 2022, and said that WWE has been lucky to have McMahon and Triple H both have 10 years running creative. But what do you think the future holds for WWE's creative team following the UFC merger? Will McMahon take a step back as he has claimed he will? And just how much will Triple H really be head of creative? Share your views in the comments. It was in late 2022 that Johnny Gargano made his return to WWE after opting not to sign with or even compete for another promotion during his time away from the company. The last fan saw of Gargano was over two weeks ago when he defeated Grayson Waller at NXT Stand and Deliver, and now we know why. In an update from Fightful Select, it's revealed that Gargano is dealing with a re-aggravated shoulder injury. The report reads, Johnny Gargano hasn't appeared on WWE programming since NXT Stand and Deliver, leading many to wonder where he's been. Fightful Select has learned that Gargano re-aggravated the shoulder injury that had him sidelined for much of January. 
After only having a couple of matches his first few weeks back, Gargano ended up wrestling a dozen matches after March 4th. We are told that the shoulder injury got worse after his Royal Rumble return, and by the time of his NXT match with Grayson Waller, he was severely hampered and using one arm. The hope from the company is that he can repair the injury with physical therapy as opposed to surgery. The report adds that while there has been speculation that Gargano's absence was down to Vince McMahon, that isn't the case, and in fact, Vince personally asked Gargano to stay in 2021. Obviously, that didn't happen, and while we can't say for certain when he'll be back on TV, we're wishing Gargano a speedy recovery. If reports are to be believed, AEW is just weeks away from launching their third weekly wrestling show on TV, which is believed to be titled AEW Collision. This will be a huge undertaking for AEW, especially at a time when the viewership of Rampage and Dynamite aren't what they used to be, and there will be no shortage of competition for the show. As Dave Meltzer explained on Wrestling Observer Radio, the Saturday spot means that the show will go against every big boxing match, college football in the fall, the World Series, and at times, the NFL. That's not even including the fact that WWE Premium Live events have moved to Saturdays, and Meltzer said that going on Saturdays will be the toughest night with so much competition. Meltzer added that there is the possibility of the show being delayed or preempted for other sporting events, such as the NBA, which will no doubt be a hit to the show's weekly ratings. Despite these obstacles, fans are eager to see what AEW's upcoming Saturday show can do, but Tony Khan may have bitten off a bit more than he can chew with such stiff competition. If you watched WrestleMania 39, you'll have seen the show have plenty of sponsorships, including Cinnamon Toast Crunch endorsing the deeply personal match between Rey and Dominic Mysterio. That match saw a Cinnamon Toast Crunch mascot, played by NXT's Sol Ruka, as well as a Cinnamon Toast Crunch design on the barricade at ringside, and WWE isn't just stopping there. When Nick Khan was asked about the idea of more sponsorship deals, the WWE CEO was very receptive to the idea, which is a departure from how the company has done things in the past. Khan spoke about how WWE is open for business and said everything from the ring mat to the apron to the turnbuckles can be sponsored for the right product at the right price. The WWE CEO did add that he doesn't want these sponsorships to be too distracting, but that he is ready to go and has learned from how UFC has done business with long-term sponsors. During Vince McMahon's retirement, Nick Khan rose through the ranks to become the CEO of WWE, a company he wasn't even with just four years ago, and expect to see more sponsorships like we saw at WrestleMania if the right product is found. During this week's SmackDown, Shinsuke Nakamura made his long-awaited return to WWE TV and picked up a dominant win over Madcap Moss. This marked Nakamura's first televised match since the January 1st event with Pro Wrestling Noah and his first WWE TV match since last November, and the King of Strong Style has big plans. In a post-match interview, Nakamura said that he is glad to be back and spoke about his win over the Great Muda in January before adding that he is aiming for a world championship. Nakamura is a two-time NXT champion but has never held world title gold on the main roster. And could he be the one to dethrone Roman Reigns? Sound off in the comments. Between the WWE draft and the Endeavor deal, a lot of changes are expected in WWE as the company embarks on an unprecedented era in its history. Despite the Endeavor deal, WWE hopes to remain with NBC Universal and Fox, but we could see a much more violent WWE, at least on Raw. When Nick Khan spoke to Lightshed Partners this week, the WWE CEO was asked if the company may introduce more blood on its programming, and he responded, Look, when we're specifically talking about the 10 to 11 hour on Raw, we're specifically talking to NBCU and ourselves about what we do with that moving forward. We ask, what do we do if we tweak this, that 10 to 11 hour? It's basic cable, not broadcast, as you know. We think that NBCU would be supportive, but we are not on a final conclusion on that. It's definitely a conversation point. By the way, Finn Balor, who took the ladder to the head, at that moment, I was very close to ringside, and to see him take staples in the middle of the action and to jump up and take up the cage like that, it's such a performance. While WWE does allow some blood on occasion, it's been very rare since the company's move to a PG rating in 2008. 
Vince McMahon has always had a complicated relationship with blood, and his comment about AEW being a blood and guts company gave birth to a violent match type in Tony Khan's company. During the interview, Khan was asked about McMahon and said that contrary to what some may believe, the chairman didn't ask to stay on ahead of the Endeavor deal, but it was Ari Emanuel who urged him to stick around. With UFC allowing blood, it's not impossible to think that WWE could follow suit, but we'll likely only get our answers to this question after the Endeavor deal has been finalized.